BrightChat is a secure two-way instant messaging app that teachers can use to send messages to families. It is two-way, meaning that recipients can respond to the group or privately to the sender when using the app. Users can type, record audio, attach documents, and even share photos and videos. Users can select their own language preference, allowing them to receive and respond to messages in their language of choice. All communications are saved and accessible by administrators. So teachers can initiate bright chat messages from PowerTeacher, the Bright Arrow mobile app, and the Bright Arrow website. We're going to get started showing you how to initiate a bright chat from the PowerTeacher website. To do this, on the left-hand side, you're going to come down to the Bright Arrow My List button. After clicking that button, your data will load, and you'll see your sections listed here. Choose your appropriate section, hit the Pencil app, you'll see the message Setup appear. At this point, I'm going to choose Start a Bright Chat. A couple things to notice as you're here, the reply type, it defaults to private replies, meaning the person receiving the message, when they reply, it will only come to you. Or you can choose group chat, which is less recommended. When the person replies, it'll reply to the group as opposed to just you. You'll create your topic here at the top and then type your message here. When you're done, you're gonna click send message and the message will be sent to your group. The message will be sent to your recipients via email and text message if they have not yet installed the app. Bright Arrow will append the initial conversation with instructions on how to download the app and join the conversation. If you're in PowerTeacher Pro and would like to start a Bright Chat, you come down on the left-hand side and click apps, and then go to Bright Arrow, My Lists. Here you would follow the same steps as you would when creating a Bright Chat from PowerTeacher. If you noticed when clicking apps, you'll see a Bright Chat link. If you were to click on the Bright Chat link, it would bring up all of your active Bright Chats. Currently, I have no active Bright Chats to review. If you don't have access to PowerTeacher or the app, you can use the Bright Arrow website. To get there, go to target.brightarrow.com. As with the other methods, you're going to use your full ACPS email and your password, and then choose login. As you'll see here, the interface is just like you would see in PowerTeacher or the PowerTeacher Pro Gradebook. Follow those steps to create your Bright Chat or bright messages here. Once you've downloaded the Bright Arrow Mobile 2.1 app from the Google Play Store, choose Open. Choose Continue to acknowledge the privacy policy. And here, Sign in using your username and password. Your username is your complete Albemarle County email address and your password is your normal Albemarle County password. Do not create an account in this screen. Once you have your username and password entered, choose login. Here you'll see your sections that you teach and any list that you've created in order to send or start a bright chat highlight the section choose the next button here i'm going to send it to all my contacts in the list if i'm recording audio i'll be using that while in the app same thing if i wanted to access any photos videos music or other audio that i might have recorded that i wanted to share with the group so at this one, I'll start here and hit Start Bright Chat. Once again, I'm making sure I have selected Private Replies and choosing Next. I'll create the topic or subject of my Bright Chat. 
and then type the message below. Once I'm done, I'll choose send message. If I'm in the app and want to see other previous active bright chats, I'll choose the up button and choose the icon with the chat bubbles. Here, I have a list of my active bright chats. I hope this helps you understand how to use the Bright Arrow 2.1 app on your mobile device. After installing the app from the App Store, click Open. You'll see the Bright Arrow chat open. Tap anywhere to log in. Here, do not create an account. Use your full ACPS email address as your username and your ACPS password as your password. Once you're in, you'll see the list of sections. From here, I would find the section in which I'd like to send a message. Once I find that, I click the button to highlight it and then choose next. From here, I'm sending it to all contacts in that class. So I'm gonna choose the first option. You'll see here, it says start bright chat. So I'll highlight that button. I'm gonna make sure I have private replies and then hit the next button at the top. Here, it looks familiar to what you would see on the computer. I'll choose my subject or my topic, and then I will write the message below. Once I'm done, I'll hit the paper airplane button in the top right to send the message. In order to see bright chats that have already started, you would just hit the chats button and your active bright chats would be here. This runs down the options in the Apple iOS app for Bright Arrow.